Lukely here, and today we're taking a look at Theater of War 3, Korea. Uh, I played Theater of War 2, which I believe took place in North Africa? It was a few years since I played that one. And um, that's very good. It's a good game. Uh, this is the newer version. Still looks pretty bad. Not gonna lie. Pretty bad graphics. Um, expect a low frame rate from this game. Don't know what it is. I just get a low FPS even when I'm not recording. Uh, I was getting... 12, 15 or so uh, without a recording, and so I imagine Fraps might cut that on out in half, like 5 or 6 we'll probably end up getting. I'm just kidding. It might not be... I hope, I hope I'm hope i kidding. Uh, anyway, we're going to go to the mission generator here. <laughs> this has a, uh, a career mode that's pretty... or not a career mode, but a campaign mode that's pretty good. Um, so anyway, we're just going to do a, like, a random here, and... Um, <clears throat> Will be United States versus North Korea, classic Korean War, obviously. Um, I don't really care what any of this is. Um, and we'll hit launch. You get a really nice, long loading screen with this game, so be patient. Uh, but first, we're going to say order of battle, uh, and I will show you how this works. I'm not, a, in, I'm not even entirely sure how this works. So you have so many places for, like, things down here. Like, you can say I could have three units of infantry. So first, I'm going to take my company commander. Um, bazooka teams. I find these weapons teams to be absolutely and completely ineffective. Um, so I usually take a weapon squad, because they'll kind of have a mix of stuff. Uh, I'll take two of those. So now you can see we've filled up our infantry. We cannot take any more. They've turned red. Um... So now I can have two, uh, what is this? Heavy machine guns. Uh, so this is a good way of doing it. You just click this. It tells you, oh, you can have four heavy machine guns. Um, what? What? Oh. Right. So there's four, you can have machine guns here or artillery. Doesn't matter. You can have either or a mix. Um, <clears throat> anyway. <coughs> Excuse me. Trying to die here. Um, we're gonna take... Actually, what else do they have here? Okay, so they have a 75 mil M20. I think we'll take two of those. I find machine guns not to be particularly effective, but we'll try them anyway. Um, let's see. Uh, what's good about the Americans is they get helicopters, although we don't know... Since this is a completely random mission generator, I don't even know if I'm gonna need a helicopter. Um, so I might just take one. Uh, they're a bit finicky, too, so I don't really like taking them. Um, what else? Well, we can give our commander a truck. Uh, we'll take up a vehicle slot, though, unfortunately, so I don't think I want to give him one. Um, I better, it's better to use light stuff for, like, recon, depending on the map. So we can take an M46, which is the best tank the, Ger uh, the Germans, the Americans fielded during the Korean War. Um, that's a 700 point tank right there, so we'll take one of those. Um, and we'll take some Shermans, how about? We'll take a couple. Okay, we'll take one. So these change, like, what you can take changes based on the type of mission. Uh, anyway, <clears throat> we need two more heavy machine guns. Okay, mortars, we're gonna take, definitely gonna take mortars. Mortars are fantastic. Mortars can fix so many problems, so we'll take two. Um, we don't have a whole lot for artillery, it looks like. Uh, not really. We'll take the 105s. Uh, well, let me take two. Two 105s. Okay, not too bad. We're probably going to end up taking more of these machine guns. Uh, because we won't have a choice. Uh, I'm going to take two Greyhounds for uh, my recon. Uh, machine guns. So yeah, my choices are... A 12 or a 7.62. So I'm going to take the two 12s. Uh, and then we'll go to the reinforcements. So these are... Um, some missions have reinforcements. Uh, it seems to be random if you'll get them or not. So we're going to put two... Oh, yeah, two tanks in reserve. Because, hey, they're good. They can get places you need them quickly. And um, we'll also put in a weapons squad and a rifle squad. Just to mix it up. Um... Every unit has a separate commander. Uh, oh, there it goes. 
Uh, so every one of these units has a commander. So if you're doing a campaign, um, you could very well have this same crew for the whole thing, assuming you don't get them killed, and then they could all end up being like really high-ranking officers and things, and could eventually become company commanders and things. Uh, so that's pretty cool. So anyway, we're now going to go ahead and start the battle and set things up. Okay. <clears throat> okay, here we are. <coughs> Lieutenant John Smith, very original American name, uh, is telling me I need to defend the area. Uh, you can use arrows for this to move around, which is fucking awful. Uh, <clears throat> wish you could use WASD. So next, we're going to check our deployment, obviously. Um, right away, I'm seeing some problems. This is a machine gun in a like a heavy weapons turret. Uh, we're gonna put him there. I'm not really sure. I think they're smart enough to rotate on their own, I'm pretty sure. Uh, we got another... Okay, so this is a big cannon. We're gonna want to put him up here in this emplacement. Um, <clears throat> we've got a unit of infantry here. Whoops. That's really spread out. I don't know why. Uh, hopefully they'll just move into the uh, into the bunker, or I'll command them to move to the bunker. I got our mortars really far up in front. Don't know why the game has done that. I'm going to put them way back here so that they won't get fucking destroyed immediately. Um, I had two mortars. Okay, here's the other one. Put them back here in this apple uh, grove. Uh, we got one tank on this side. That's good. Oh, boy. Um, so I don't really know how to move individual troops like when they get deployed like this. So I just kind of want them all to de eventually end up in that bunker there. Uh, so we've got a small machine gun there. We've got another artillery piece that's just kind of out in the open. Um, another thing you want to check and make sure these guys can actually shoot over these little emplacements, because sometimes they can't, and they'll just sit there and wait till they're murdered. Um, so I'm hoping that I can. he'll turn when, when the shit starts going down, and he'll fire over that, and if he doesn't, I'll back him up out of the trench so he can shoot. Um, we got our heavy tank here. This is our M46. Uh, I don't really want to mount in the open like this. I'm going to kind of tuck them into these shrubs and shit over here. we got our chopper, uh, which is an HRS-1. Um, we do not want that in the front lines at all. We're going to put that in the back here in case for some reason we need to move troops. <laughs> um, we shouldn't need to move them, though, uh, very far or anything. So we want to put our armored cars, our armored recce, near the front lines. Oh, as far as the, the left, I can move him. Um... Because when the battle starts, we're immediately going to move them to attack. Or at least have a look around. Okay. This is nice here. Actually, wait a minute. Is this... Fuck off, John Smith. If we can have this guy back here, that would be great. Uh, I think that is not going to work, so I'm going to put him, like, there. Um, we're also going to put this machine gun here. Tuck him into the uh, wall there. So we got another machine gun in the open. I'll put him just there. Uh, this is our... This is our... Okay, it's a 12. What was this one? A 75 and a 75. So that's good. We got our best stuff on the front. Um, we've got one of our other infantry squads just kind of spread out in this village. That's fine. I'm going to leave them like that. And, um... I think we're ready to battle. So we'll hit continue. Okay. I'm going to take my first M8. I'm going to have him run up there and have a look around. The given Same with this fella. Uh, I would like it if you guys went into the trench instead of just standing out in the open. Um, I also completely forgot to check. Oh, shit. See, this is... I made a mistake. This is my company commander. He's on the front line. Oops. Uh... This is my master sergeant for uh, just one of the weapons companies and my other master sergeant for the uh, weapons companies. So <clears throat> I'm going to put them all into the trench. These guys can stay throughout the town, like I mentioned. Ooh. Okay, so there's some artillery coming down. Not really sure where. Um, as you can see, every, every single one of these units has people who are named. And um, if we sit here on this thing, you can see what's happening. So it will tell us, like... So and so was killed, and and friendly messages like that. Uh, we're just gonna put the tank 
up into the woods. Okay, so they're shelling me, probably with mortars. Okay, somebody's been killed already. Nathan Hunter. One of the... Oh, Christ. One of the friggin' mortarmen's already been killed. Um, why is it paused? You can unpause now, thanks. Don't care that Nathan Hunter was murdered. Killed by Koreans. Okay. Um... So I think if I take just... I'm trying to think if there's a way you could just select a single person. But it doesn't appear to be uh, something you can do. Okay, so this guy is all the way up here, and he still hasn't seen any enemy. Uh, the map is closed off from the back, so I don't think anybody's coming from this side. Although that would be extremely cunning of the computer to do that. Um, that makes me think that that's probably not what's going to happen. Okay, so we can see a... That's the slowest M8 Greyhound I've ever seen in my life. Okay, so we've got something up here. Oh, shit. Uh, it's an IS-2. It's a big tank right there. Now, I think... Oh, shit, there's several. We've got a bunch of casualties here. Um, most likely from... Oh, I don't really know what, actually. I was thinking maybe um, from a gun emplacement, but I, all my gun emplacements are, are working. Oh, no, wait. Yeah, there's been some casualties off that one. Um, I'm going to immediately replace those guys with this infantry squad here. And because I got weapons teams, I should be able to use those guns. Okay. So, as I figured would happen, the armored car that I sent up has been destroyed by the... Uh, a T-3485, there's an IS-2, here comes their recon, they've got a few recon vehicles here, it looks like they have a shitload more forces than myself, actually. Um, this guy hasn't seen anything on that side, which makes me think they're probably only going to attack from over here. Oh shit, they destroyed my best tank! Oh no. Oh my god, there's a lot of stuff. Okay, so luckily we have a lot of machine guns. Quick, fall back! Uh, I am going to quickly move all these guys up into the forest. If I could select this gun, here we go. I'm going to move him into the forest as well. Okay, so they do have, actually do have some troops here. So I'm going to forget all that and go this way with my infantry. Um, oh, there's a tank. Sugars. Forget everything I told you. Go back to your previous positions. Okay, we've got a ground attack aircraft. I'm going to call him in... Oops. I'm going to call him in right here. There's a lot of juicy targets for him to come and uh, shoot up. I told you to fall back, you crazy dude. Get to get to some cover. My mortars are... One of them is taken out completely already. Uh, the computer is oops, oops cheating. Uh... Wait a minute. Oh, this is a... Oh, this is a recoilless gun. I thought this was a rifle. I don't know why I thought it was a rifle. 75 millimeter. I was like, well, that sounds great for a machine gun. Of course it sounds great for a machine gun. It's fucking impossible. Okay. Oh, he sees him. Oh, you missed. Come on, dude. That's a tank destroyed right there. An SU-76. Mobile artillery, I guess, would be more uh, descriptive. Oh, he's been tracked. So he can't move now. That's great. And mission accomplished. Oh, we've somehow won? <laughs> I have no idea how I won. I feel like I'm losing quite badly. Maybe they're retreating or I've destroyed enough of their stuff that they're running away because I have shot up several of their vehicles. Uh, oh, see so that 76 got past me. Um, this tank's been bailed out. But uh, yeah, I guess I guess we've won. So, um, that's Theater of War 3, Korea. Uh, if you want to see some more, let me know. I'd be glad to make some more videos of this. It's a pretty fun game, although I don't really know what's going on some of the time. And the graphics are kind of shit. Um, but thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Goodbye!